I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing some picnic blankets. So ignore all the cute little kitties for a moment and just look at the kind of rectangles that we have on the ground here. None of them have lines that are perfectly vertical, meaning straight up and down, and none of them are perfectly horizontal, meaning straight across side to side. All of them are diagonals. So I'm going to have this blanket over here at a diagonal. The blanket on the bottom is at a diagonal. This one's at a diagonal. All of the blankets are at diagonals. One sticking out from our tree over there. I think I'm going to have this picnic blanket show a little bit on the other side of the tree too. It's gonna go right off the paper. That's okay. I'm on the second tree now. All right, keep on going. And I'll add in those other tree trunks that we can see very far away. There's one that comes down over here that this little deer is hiding behind. There's little grass. And then there's one a little higher up on the paper. Still a little bit of grass growing right on top of that trunk. And those trunks have some texture lines as well. Can you wait? Yep, I can wait here a moment. We are waiting. We are currently waiting. Uh, can you have some music, please? I have some playing, but maybe I didn't share it. Let me see. Oh, did it get turned off when I was sharing? Oh, it's possible. Let me try turning it up a little bit. OK, 
Can you guys hear it now? Yes. All right. It's kind of going into a sad song, though. I'm going to find some happier music. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a picnic. Yeah, music. let's have some brighter picnic music. This Oceanside Verbo. Right, let's draw some cats. I'm going to start with this little trio of cats on the blanket. So we have one that is laying down off of the blanket. I'm going to start with that one over there. A little circle for the head. And if you take a look at the body without the legs or arms, it looks a little bit like an oval. And this one happens to be a bobtail. What was that, Fussy? I'm so hot because of the sun right there. Yep. The sun is getting warmer. Summer is coming. I took my dog out on a walk this morning. And then I can tell you, it was not pleasant. Oh, dear. We're still getting music through competing music. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm gonna add the legs straight on the back side, curvy on the front side. And then we have a little arm in front here. And the other one wrapping right behind the head. I just add another little curve there. And we do this all the time, so I'm going to do it a little bit quickly. Ears, eyes, nose, and mouth. Holy, holy. Really 
hot, huh? Wow. Yeah. So hot. The sun is burning me. <gasps> You can do gotta it. get you to turn I, off your. I can't press so hot. I can't see. Yeah. Like exactly. That's music okay. Fussy. But Fusi, you can't have your music on when we're recording because YouTube will take down the video. So if you can keep yourself muted, that would be awesome. <laughs> or at least your music down. There we go. Beautiful. We don't want YouTube to say we were playing music that didn't belong to us and take our video down. Won't they only do that if like you're monetizing it or am no, I- No, they took down our video before. They said there was copyrighted music and so they uh, took it down. Wait, what? They took down your music? What? One of the drawing videos. One of the drawing videos had uh, music by a band Was it when I was here or when I, I was I don't remember. Here? It's been a while. It must have been within the year because that's when we started doing Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be this year. Our next cat is looking up at the beautiful blossom. So we're going to have another oval or circle depending on what kind of cats you like to draw. And then the body. It looks like a grown up baby. It looks like a grown up pig? Is that what I heard? Yes. It could be. Why not do a pig picnic? And we have the same thing we do all the time. So I'm gonna go through quickly. Ears, eyes, way up at the top of the head to show this kitty looking up. Got the arms stretched out behind. And this one has a little bit differently shaped legs, but still a little flatter lines on the bottom. your lines on the top. the side. I'm going to curve mine the other way. So you can do what you like. the back of this cat but we're still going to draw it the same way oval for the head
elongated oval for the body. If your cat doesn't land on your blanket, that's okay. We can change the shape of the blanket afterward. That tail sticking out to the right. No face to draw, just some ears. Maybe some whiskers poking out. If you want your kitty to be on the blanket, you can just start sketching your blanket around where this cat is sitting. going to draw another back view of a cat on that blanket that's mostly covered up by the tree up here. So even the oval will probably be covered up by that tree. I'll only get a half of an oval. I'll only see half of that body. tail sticking out. And maybe only one ear is showing. Then we'll draw this next trio of cats. I think I might need a bigger blanket, so I'm gonna make mine bigger.
same thing we always do. I'm going to start with an oval for the head. In fact, I'll draw two cats at the same time. There's one oval there and one oval over here. And I'll add some bodies. This guy looks especially chubby over here. some tails. This one's going to be a big fluffy tail. And then this one has a tail going to the back. And they need ears. And eyes. Noses. Add those whiskers and wait right here. If you're waiting for the next instruction, you can always come back in here and fill in some of the grass texture. If you're working on your kitties, just keep working on your kitties.
and these cats are eating onigiri, it looks like. Rice balls, probably some tuna inside. So I'm gonna draw a little rounded triangle shape. Right next to that kitty's mouth. This one's holding it down a little bit, so I'll just put it near his chest. And then we'll just draw. Yeah, I think so. I think they're onigiri. Yummy! Hey, um, you seem to know about Asian food. I was wondering, there's always been this dish I see in anime, but they never say the name of it. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's like, it's like, it's like three little balls. Usually it's pink, white, and green, and they're mm -hmm. on a stick, and I don't know what they are. Yeah, they're actually in this picture, too. They're right over here. Oh, well, they're uh, mochi. Oh, yeah, look at them. But they're oh. not like the Trader Joe's with the ice cream inside. They're just the like outer dough, like the rice cake one, and they're dipped in syrup. Are so they good? Sweet. Uh, it's not like any American dessert I can think of, so it's hard to say if people will like them or not. But certainly chewy things that have a syrup on top, not a bad deal. <laughs> And the legs, as we've been drawing them, kind of flat on the back and curvier in the front. And these guys have a little picnic table of some kind, a little picnic box that they're putting their rice balls on top of. This is very much like when we were drawing the bakery and we had those countertops. We're looking at each shape as a rectangle that doesn't have any lines going straight up and down or straight side to the side. They're all diagonal. And this top of the little platform too is gonna have all diagonal lines. the shape for the top, we need a shape for the side. We didn't draw the other table. We didn't. I did, I was saving that for last just in case we were running out of time. Our drawing would still make sense without the table, but it might not make sense if there were blankets with no cats on them. But if you want some practice of drawing those, there you go. You can go ahead and do a tea setting. And you can draw that last rice ball. little dark square is roasted seaweed wrapped around. I 
you say sushi is good? It takes some getting used to. When I first had sushi, I had to spit it out because it tasted too much like the fish tank. We had fish too, so I would like <laughs> clean, the, clean the fish tank every once in a while. And I just smelled that and I go, whoa, it's just like cleaning the fish tank and I couldn't, couldn't take it. But then after I tried it a few more times, it was delicious and now I have it quite often. Well, what about octopus? It's very chewy. Yeah, my dad has offered like to get I octopus. Tried, a bunch I tried of times. fried ones. Yeah, like calamari. Oh, I calamari is so ones. great. What about crab or lobster? Oh, wonderful. I haven't had lobster, but I've had crab before. I like the taste okay, but it seems like a lot of work. Work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only a little bit. <laughs> Don't they have special like shell crackers you can get? Oh, I think so. But I mean, just like the amount of meat that you get out of one crab is so little for the amount of work to, to get it. So. It's not, it's not my favorite, but uh, I know my grandmother, particularly on my Filipino side, she loves crab. And then we've got a cat in the back. I'm not really sure what he's doing. I guess he's going like, well, there's only one left. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> We're going to draw him the same way, a bubble for the head. We don't even have to draw the whole body because he's sitting right behind our little platform there. And our same old routine of ears and eyes. I think I'm going to give this one the bigger eyes that we did in our last drawing. What was it the drawing before? I think it was the library tree. Some of them had big eyes like that. Oh yeah, you can do the deer in the back if you like. I'm not really sure why there's a deer here. It might be... Not too shy to join? Yeah, like too shy to join since it's not a cat. Or maybe they're in Nara. I know that's a part of Japan that has a bunch of deer in the park. Is this artist Japanese? I think she's either from Taiwan. I think she, yeah, I think it was Taiwan. But a lot of the images have uh, yeah have Japanese. Themes. Yeah, this looks like Japanese. I agree. A very distinct Uchiha fan, huh? not like a Chinese fan. The Japanese food. Later on though, we'll do one uh, in a dim sum restaurant. So maybe these cats traveled to China. International. Yeah, international cats. <laughs> and if you want to leave your cat like that with no arms, that's fine. Or if you want to add the arms, you can. Since I have mine looking up, it doesn't really make sense for his arms to be up like that. So maybe he's just putting his paws together going, oh, it's so lovely. It's like he's praying. With his eyes open? Okay, no, is this... it, looks, it looks like he's praying. Oh, I thought you usually pray with your eyes closed, though, so that's why I didn't look like he's praying, but maybe he does. That's okay. Oh, hey, out of curiosity, has this artist drawn, like, a, a bald sphinx cat yet? I don't think so. Most of the cats are pretty much the same ones you see here, just kind of orange ones, gray ones. I'm curious how they would render that in this style. Yeah. I don't think these have... don't have much rendering of their fur. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Since there isn't much difference between them other than what they're colored like, I don't know that they would be able to tell a difference unless it was just colored pink, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, I'm not gonna draw the other cat. That's fine. It's your drawing, you can do what you want. So for our little deer friend in the back, I'm going to draw an oval that's a little longer. In the end, I'm going to add a little, another little oval, and that's going to be the nose. Oh, Natalie says in the chat that she's going to make one of her cats super fat because it ate too much. <laughs> I know some cats who do eat enough to make their stomach get pretty big. We've got one more blanket. This one's getting a nice little back rub. So we're going to have this cat with an oval near one end of the blanket. Oh wait, we were drawing deer, sorry. I didn't finish that deer. Eyes! Right in the last Right in the last Turn down my music a little bit. I couldn't quite hear you. Say that one more time. No, not important. Okay, I'll turn the music back on. Hey guys, random question. What's your favorite kind of cat? My cat. cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little ears on that one. I don't think I've met a cat that I didn't like. I like them all. No, I mean like breed, like, you know. Ours has always been just like strays or feral cats that we took in, so I don't know too much about the breeds. Yeah. I like short-haired cats, mainly because long-haired cats are a mess. Oh. <laughs> That's true. Oh yeah, my long hair is sheds like crazy. Exactly. The short-haired uh, sheds true. too. I love her. That's right, it's your cat. <laughs> That's the good one. <laughs> Yeah, but my favorite breeds are the huge ones, those house cats that get huge, remember those? I don't think I've seen those, but... Oh yeah, Maine Coons get very oh, big. Maine and um, Norwegian forest cats get even oh. bigger. And they're yeah, those wise. a house cat, they're not a, a wild cat. Wow. Yeah, our cat is kind of big. Not as big as one of those, but she's kind of big for, for a house cat. I really like big cats, but I also have one little cat, and I love her. They both fit me differently, and they mm -hmm. both fit me in a great way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's the cat's name? Um, my cat's name is Nanny. She's a... Aww. Yeah, she's a big, fluffy tuxedo cat, and I love her so much. Do you have a picture? Uh, uh, they're all in my phone, so I'd have to, like, download them into the uh, 
another time. Everybody have your cat pictures ready next time. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody finished their deer, right? I didn't actually verbalize I was drawing ears and antlers, but I did add them. You might add one little peekaboo line for the body as well. Now we can get to this back massage cat. I already have my oval, so I'm going to add some ears. And you can see these ears are a little more diagonal, a little more flatter, not so much straight up and down like this guy, showing how relaxed this cat is, getting a nice back massage. for the eyes to show the eyes are closed. And the body's going to be stretched out on the blanket. Little paws stretched out. And then another cat. Starting with that opal once again. Connected to a body that goes right behind that cat who's all stretched out. Same old thing, some ears, some eyes, and a nose. This one doesn't actually show a mouth if you don't want to draw the mouth. I'm going to draw one anyway. And those two little front paws are right on top of this relaxed cat's back. Zoom in a little bit on that one. And it's already six o'clock. We have about 20 minutes left, 25 minutes. Let's go ahead and add some blossoms. So it doesn't look like they're having a picnic in the dead of winter here. So on the actual picture, there's lots of little circles, lots of little dots, but those are too hard to draw over and over. So instead we're going to do our traditional types of tree shapes that have 
bumpy edges. And every once in a while, we're going to go ahead and draw an what actual What did she awesome. use to you? What did she use to make do all of those? those tree pieces? It might have been a computer program, or it might have been like a paintbrush or a something that like even the back of a paintbrush dipped in paint and then just that, 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 that. But it takes forever, so we're going to do something a little different. Something that might feel like they were probably digital, but uh... Yeah, I kind of feel like they might have been digital. There's one like right here that got a little too close together and made this like big line. Did we do it like the treehouse? Like the tree house. How did we do it like the trees? Oh yeah, yeah, you could do it like the tree house. So I'm gonna add some shapes in here that look just like if I were doing regular leaves. And you can go right over some of these branches and just erase the parts that go up into blossoms. After you have your big shapes every once in a while, oops, not all over the place, but every once in a while, you can make a little flower shape with just five little petals. We're not gonna fill up the whole tree like this, but just every once in a while, we'll add in those flower shapes. You might even have a few falling off the tree. Petals fall down and look a little bit like snow sometimes. Personally, I think I would like to color. So even though there's a few cats in the trees that we didn't draw, if you want to draw those instead of color, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and start coloring. Starting with my pink colored pencil.
You might have noticed even when I'm coloring, I hold way back on my pencil. That's so I can just move my fingers a little bit and cover a really big area. And it gets coloring done really fast. Oops, my paper was underneath. Wait, where's the table for the other table? For the other, other table? I can make it bigger for you there. Same thing, you just draw the top shape and then the side shape. And then if you guys want to have some help with the teapot, I can show you how to draw that too. So if you're drawing this other little food stand here with the top shape and the side shape. To make that little teapot, I just make the letter C for the handle that the cat is holding. Then looking at this teapot, it looks a little bit like a dome or a half of a circle. It has a little spout. And the lid has a little circle on top and a line and teacups i know you guys are in teacup dragons know how to make teacups oval on the top and then the side If you happen to have a lighter green and a darker green, I like to use the lighter green going up to the top and then the darker green down at the bottom. Why is that, you might be wondering? A thing called atmospheric perspective. Meaning that when things are farther away, they get lighter in color. So this grass that's far away, that's going to be a light green and the grass that is close is going to be a darker green.
Ooh, color flash. Yeah. That's because I'm using my whole arm, not just my fingers, not just my wrist. I hold my pencils far, far down the barrel, way down at the end. So I can cover a lot more space quickly. If I were holding my pencil down here like this, it would take a lot longer. I like your colored pencil work. Thank you. Where did you get this color? Oh, I think from Michael's. I also have some Crayola ones though that I got from Target. Those are good too. Just about five more minutes and then we're going to share. Natalie and or Tracy screams, and why did we not draw the other cats on top of the tree? 12 exclamation points. Did y'all see my drawing? 35 exclamation points. No, we did not see your drawing, but we can see it when we all share in a little bit. 
And I gave you guys the option to draw the cats and the trees yourself if you want to or color. I chose to color. these cats look like my cat Cody. Everybody's been sneaking little cameos with cats you know. Oh, I don't have a black colored pencil. What to do? Cody's a long hair, so I'll do this one. Just three more minutes and then it'll be time to share. The grass is a really big area. I 
like the song. That's nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good song. Isn't it true? Like a lot of this music, a lot of this song, right? Free music was made by one guy. Oh, is it? News to me. Yeah, I'm not sure, so I'm asking. So uh, don't don't quote me on that. <laughs> Absolutely, you can take a screenshot after I'm done in case you need to know what it looks like and finish it up later on your own. There will also be the video up in a few days. Oh, it sounds like somebody's done. Just in time, too. It is time to share. Let's spotlight for everybody. Woo! Look at that! I like it! Looks like you used watercolor. I did not. You did not? Oh, okay. it just looks like it then. I did not. Oh, it just kind of looks like it. Nice! And who else is ready to share? Nobody? Oh, that looks like Kristen's ready to share. Ooh, look at that. And she's got the cats in the trees. Super oh. cute. That's I love cool. it. I know, that is cool, right? Oh, we can't hear you though, Kristen. I don't know why not. But yeah, good job. <laughs> And then let's go to our next artiste. Oh, nobody else is ready to share yet? Almost. Almost. Oh, it looks like, uh, it wasn't Callista here? Maybe Callista got dropped. Well, I'll put mine back up so you guys can take your screenshots and then uh, we'll have two more minutes to see if anybody else wants to share. Oh, I didn't call my deer. Oh, somebody's making dinner at my house. Wait, how long has Kristen been crying? Kristen? Oh, a long time, as long as I've been teaching, so that's already like 11 years. Eleven years? Yep. And she was drawing even before that, when John Gerzon was teaching. It's already 629, last call. Anybody want to share? You want to save it for next week? You can always show it next week, too. Oh, it looks like Aaron is ready. Let me place the spotlight on Aaron's. Wow, look at that. Love it. Thank you. Man, all these picnic drawings make me want to go on a picnic. Your mouth is moving and I don't hear any noise. Very cool, Aaron. 
And then who do we have left? Natalie, Tracy, or Mickey? Any of you want to share? I figure I'll go last. I think you are last because it is 6.30. So this okay. is it. Now or never. Oh, cannot do that. It will not let me. Oh, it's because of my music. Yeah, let me stop the music Oh, first. oh wait, Natalie. Oh, Natalie's ready. Okay, let me highlight Natalie for everyone. I love Natalie's name. Ooh, I like it. Beautiful trees. Nice kitties having fun. Let's see the other one. Ooh, also a nice one with beautiful trees and kitties having fun. Love it. Nice job, everybody. I didn't know if you guys would be able to draw all the stuff in this picture, but y'all did a really good job.